Hey mamas, my name is Brittany Braddon and today's a class that you can do during your first trimester. So I remember during my first trimester, there was just a lot of things happening. You were super emotional, you're excited, you were scared, you're happy, you're you're tired, you're nauseous, you're just a lot of things. So I wanted to give you a practice where you get some movement into your body, but you also find some grounding and maybe calm down all of that energy that might be coming up for you. So we're gonna start off today on our hands and knees and table. Turn to face the front of the mat. Bring your shoulders over top of the wrists and take your knees hip distance apart. From here, you're gonna take the chest forward, send the tailbone up as you take an inhale. And then when you exhale, you're gonna round through the spine and push away from the floor. And then inhale, lift the chest forward, send the tailbone up. And then exhale, round. Now I want you to move through a couple more on your own. This is a good opportunity to close your eyes. Just moving with your breath, tuning into how it feels for you. One more round. And then come into a neutral spine. You're gonna walk your hands forward so your hands will be shoulder distance apart or maybe wider as your forehead comes to the ground in puppy. Now you can stay where you are, but if you'd like, you can take your elbows to the floor, bring your hands together in prayer and send your fingers out. From there, you're gonna walk your elbows forwards about an inch and then envision like you're trying to get your armpits to touch the floor. So let's take a few breaths here. And then bring your hands to the ground, come forwards in a table. Now bring your right knee to center. Take your left leg straight back and tuck your toes under. So I want you to envision like you're pressing the back of the left knee to the ceiling. Now drive all your weight back into that left heel, stretch out the calf. And then bring your shoulders over top of the wrist and lift that left leg up. So the toes face the ground and then bring your left heel in towards the glute. Bring your left knee towards center. Take your knees straight out to the side and then bring your thigh parallel to the floor as you send that left knee back. Then bring that left knee in, take it to the side, and then bring the thigh parallel to the floor. So do a couple more rounds in that direction. And then you're gonna go the opposite way. Now next time your left knee comes to the side, you're gonna straighten the leg and set your foot down onto the floor. So from here, you're gonna rock your shoulders forward and then rock your hips back and as you do that, spin the left toes up towards the ceiling. Good. And then ground the foot, rock the shoulders forward and then send the hips back, send the toes up. So you're gonna do a couple more rounds. And then shoulders come over top of the wrists, set that left knee down, and we're gonna change sides. So you're gonna take that right leg straight back, tuck your toes under, drive all your weight back into that right heel. Shoulders come over top of the wrists and lift that right leg up. Bring that right heel in towards the glute and then start to do those circles. So bring the knee in the center, take your knee directly to the side and then bring your thigh parallel to the floor. Keep going. Go the opposite way. Next time your knee comes out to the side, straighten the leg and ground the foot. And then rock your shoulders forwards, send the hips back and then turn the right toes up towards the ceiling. Then come forwards, ground the foot. And then rock back, a couple more. One more time. 
and then set your hands and knees to the ground and then tuck your toes under and come into downward dog. So hips go up and back, walk your feet wider than hip distance part, maybe even mat distance part. Bend one knee, straighten the other and just shift side to side. And now you're going to lift your heels up, bend the knees, and just start to walk your feet forward. So now I want you to look to your hands. You're going to step your feet to the outside of the hands. Feet are slightly turned out. Bend the knees and lower the hips down and come into Malasana. So from here, if you have a block, you can slide a block underneath your glutes to sit on. But this is one of the best shapes for you to be doing right now. So I want you to use the glutes, actively press the knees open, bring your hands together in prayer, and just lift the chest up. So try not to roll into the arches of the feet. If this is way too much, you can roll up the front of your mat and just set your heels on the mat so the heels are slightly elevated, if that helps. Either way, we'll take a few more breaths here on this Malasana squat. And then use your glutes to power yourself all the way up the stand. And then bring your feet parallel Reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Right hand for your left wrist, just reach that left arm up. Lean over to the right and take your hips over to the left. And then come back to center. Left hand to the right wrist, reach your right arm up. Lean over to the left, take your hips to the right. And then come back to center. So I want you to take a big step back with your left leg. Now turn to face the long edge of your mat, feet turn out a little bit, and then bend your knees and lower your hips about halfway down, take your arms out to the side. So press the knees open, and then as you come up to stand, reach both arms up. And then lower down, press the knees open, arms out to the side. Come to stand, reach both arms up. Three more, lower down, come back up for two, come back up. One more time, lower, and then come up to stand, reach both arms up. Now we're going to turn this into warrior two facing the back of your mat. So walk your right foot back a little bit, arms out to the side. Your left toes turn to face the back of the mat, bend into that left leg, press down to the outer edge of that back foot, and relax with the shoulders. Reverse your warrior, reach your left arm up and over. And then as you come through center, take your left forearm to the left thigh and just reach that right arm up towards the ceiling. From here, just do some big circles with that right arm in all different directions. Keep grounding to that right foot. And then take that right arm back up. Come into your warrior two. And we're gonna turn it now face the front of the mat, so straighten the leg. Bring that left foot parallel, turn the right toes to face the front of the mat, and bend into that right leg. So come into that warrior two, make sure that right knee's not falling in, press that right knee open, send the tailbone down, and then reverse your warrior, right arm up and over. And then warrior two. Right form to the right thigh, reach that left arm up towards the ceiling, and then just start to do big circles with that left arm. Take that left arm up, and then bring yourself back into warrior two. Now turn in front of the mat, turn on the ball of that back foot, push off of it, and step forward to the top of the mat. So feet about hip distance apart, maybe even wider. Both arms reach up towards the ceiling. Come halfway down and just take your hands to the shins, so bend those knees. And then take your hands either on the top of the thighs or the shins, just lift up halfway, lengthen the crown of the head. And then bend your knees, set the feet down on the mat and step back into downward dog. Lower down onto your knees. Take your weight to either side. Swing your legs forwards and come to sit. All right, I'm gonna turn to face you, but you just stay facing where you are. So from here, we're gonna sit cross-legged. So if you do have a block or anything like that, you can place it underneath your pelvis to elevate your pelvis slightly. Sit cross-legged with your right leg in front of the left. But instead of the heels being in, I want you to bring your feet forward. So you can either stay crossed at the ankles or you're going to walk your feet away from one another. 
So it's like your shins are coming parallel towards the front of the mat. You can stay sitting up tall or you're just gonna walk your hands forwards, folding into the legs. And then lift your chest up. Now I want you to straighten your right leg out to the right side. Bring that left heel a little closer towards the midline and your right toes are facing up towards the ceiling. You're gonna set your right hand down to the inside of your right leg, reach your left arm up and you're just gonna lean over to the right. So maybe you come down onto that right forearm. If you have a block, you can set your hand or forearm on that block. Just really reach over to the right. And then you're gonna take your left hand down to the ground. Come onto your left shin as you lift your hips up and reach that right arm up and over. And then lower back to the floor. And we'll do the other side. So sitting cross-legged with the left leg in front of the right. Walk your feet away from one another. So we're getting that nice stretch in the outer line of the hips. And again, you can either stay sitting up tall or you can walk your hands forwards as you fold. Walk your hands in, lift yourself up. So now take your left leg out to the left side, bring that right heel closer towards the midline. Keep the left toes facing the ceiling, take that left hand to the inside of the leg, reach that right arm up, and you're just gonna lean over to the left. And then as you come through center, take your right hand down, lift onto that right shin, hips up, left arm up and over. and then lower back down onto the ground. All right, so I just want you to make your way into a comfortable seated position. If being seated is not nice for you and you prefer to come on your side, or maybe you wanna elevate the pelvis a little bit as you come onto your back and take your legs up the wall, I just want you to find a nice grounding place for you to be. So wherever you choose to be, close down the eyes. If you are seated, or seated, sorry, Seated. Roll your shoulders forwards and up towards the ears as you take an inhale and then roll your shoulders back and down as you exhale. And just allow yourself to drop in. So like I said at the beginning, you probably have a lot of emotions that are coming up for you daily highs and lows. Now let's see if we can find some balance here. So just bring awareness to your breath. I just want you to remind yourself that you're okay. Just taking it one moment at a time. stories start to rise up and getting involved in them just witness the stories come up but instead of getting involved can you sit back 
can you see it? But then let it move, let it pass. As you return back to your breath. Staying here for as long as you need. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon. Always be humble and be kind. Namaste.